Hi, so I'm uh, from Cary, North Carolina, which is just outside of Raleigh. Um, and I ran for Green Hope High School. It's a public school. And I really kind of just heard about Pomona through like, a, like the internet. And then when I had an alumni interview, had, talking to him really uh, interests me in Pomona. Um, I come from small town Iowa. Um, Mount Vernon, it's a small little rural community between Cedar Rapids and uh, Iowa City in southeastern Iowa. Um, <clears throat> went to four, uh, high school of about 400 kids, so pretty small. Um, and uh, my dad is actually in, he works in college admissions, and so he's pretty knowledgeable about um, liberal arts colleges um, around the country. So he gave me sort of a heads up of Mona and uh, got an email from Coach Boston. That's pretty, pretty encouraging, said that I could be like a, a force in the sky act come senior year. So after that, I yeah, was pretty sad and coming. Yeah, I'm from Seattle, Washington. I went to Lakeside High School. And I pretty much just heard about Pomona through, um, I have, there are a lot of upperclassmen here that went to my high school as well. And just through the career, college college uh, counselors, they helped out, uh, just exposing me to the different colleges around here. And yeah, it sounded great. I didn't actually know I was gonna run track until I got down here. I played soccer in the fall and then I kind of talked to Coach Coach Boston about it, and that would be a great great thing for me to do. So, yeah. Uh, I'm from Bellevue, Washington, right outside Seattle. Uh, went to Bellevue High, and I found uh, Pomona through some friends who who went here and came down and visited, and, and just really liked it a lot. I did. I tried, mainly it was middle school was my experimentation phase, I tried a little football in seventh grade, could not do that at all. I was, I was pretty quick, but uh, that didn't help too much, and um, tried a little soccer, but about, I think eighth grade was really when I, I had a good cross country season um, that year, and I just kind of knew that's what I wanted to focus on, and so after that, it was definitely just cross country and track all four years in high school. Um, yeah, I mostly played soccer growing up, actually. I started running cross country in high school, ninth grade, so I did that all four years. And I played on the freshman basketball team my freshman year, but then after that, just kind of played rec the next couple of years. And yeah, I played soccer in the spring for my high school. I played baseball for most of my childhood and played a lot of different sports. Uh, basketball has always been a, a huge game for me and played a lot, even just with friends during high school and stuff. Um, yeah, I, I played soccer throughout middle school and then uh, 10th grade I actually tried track and I found I just liked it more and ended up there running cross country junior and senior year and track junior and senior year. One of uh, my favorite professional athletes is Mev Kaflepsky. Uh, I think his his story is pretty inspiring of all the things he's overcome to become the great American marathoner he is. And uh, I think as an American runner right now, uh, you got to be a fan of Galen Rupp, and as a Pomona athlete, you got to be a fan of Will Lear, just because of all the they've had a lot of success lately. Yeah. Also, um, Crosby Freeman, who is in Will Lear's kind of era, I think he maybe he was a grade above. Will Lear, he just ran the um, marathon trials for this Olympics in Houston. So that's awesome that he, and I, I think he works at Google or something, and so being able to balance a, like a semi-professional career and that is, is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I've always enjoyed watching the movies about Prefontaine and Billy Mills provide a lot of inspiration, you know, making a pure guts race. That's where I get it from. <laughs> Well, for the most part, we we really only work with Coach Boston on the distance crew. Um, I guess if I were to describe him in one word, it would probably just be uh, caring. I don't know. Um, I'd say knowledgeable. I really enjoy the workouts that he gives us. I feel like they're always kind of right up, right what we need, what, right what we need, and uh, I found them very helpful so far in the track season, getting us ready for the meets. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say. If I had to condense his character into a word, maybe disciplined or something like that. He's 
Um, yeah, like Paul said, he's very knowledgeable. He knows a lot about the biomechanics of running. He knows how to construct a really good um, training regiment. And you know, he's, he expects you to come to practice to work hard. And, um, and so that sort of mindset kind of bleeds into the team. And everyone knows that you know, they're there to run fast and work hard for him. I can't think of necessarily one word, but um, he like one thing I, I really like about Coach Boston is he's always there, available. I guess maybe available to like it, for me to go into his office and talk to him about like, hey, I was wondering about this, and he would like help me like plan with what to do about certain things, how to improve certain aspects of my running, and I really appreciate that from a coach. We've, uh, us three, um, Jairo, me, and John are in cross country together, so we spend a lot of time running already. Um, and so we're just gonna know a ball here, uh, coming off of soccer. But yeah, I feel, I feel like we have a pretty good dynamic overall. The team uh, in general gets along pretty well. Um, and as for sort of like superstitions, pre-race, um, I have a pair of socks, a pair of orange socks that I got um, over Thanksgiving break this year that I have become my race socks. Um, let's see. I try and I try not to eat for a good like two to three hours before a race. Fowler's got some pretty eccentric pre-race <laughs> stuff. Uh, I carry a box around with me that has my racing spikes in it. Just like whatever box uh, that I'm using for that season. Try to make sure that it stays pristine. Um, I, yeah, I don't know, like I, I use a rolling pin to, to roll out my legs before the race. I don't know. I've got some little idiosyncrasies here and there. I have to warm up. I, I like to be really warm on the warm up and so like, even like <laughs> in cross at Riverside uh, when it was like 90 degrees, I think I still warmed up in a sweatsuit. It's just my, I guess. He also insists on warming up in a, in a mullet, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't really have any rituals that I can think of. I mean, try to eat early, uh, you know, use the restroom, get it all out before the race. And, uh, yeah, pretty much it. Visualize and think about what I want to do during the race. Yeah. Um, I uh, ca originally came in as a freshman pretty intent on being a media studies, film studies major, um, but as I sort of experienced the department, which is sort of dispersed throughout the colleges, um, I've sort of started to lean more toward English. Um, I've had some really great interactions with professors in the Pomona English department and some really challenging and rewarding English classes. and so. I'm mean, either probably going to end up a uh, double major or some sort of combination of major, minor with English and uh, media studies. Um, and as for a career, yeah, I, could, I can either see myself either going into entertainment, um, doing something in marketing or um, creative development in the entertainment industry, or possibly going um, to grad school and doing some further you know, research projects, scholarship in the humanities. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a physics major. Uh, I, I guess I'm not really necessarily sure which area of physics I like the most, um, but I, I'm, I'm leaning toward going to graduate school and maybe even becoming a physics professor. I definitely really like that subject. Yeah, so we don't have uh, a lot of seniors, but the ones we have are definitely looked up to, sort of good role models on the team. Um, Alex Johnson has been, uh, I guess, four-time cross-country, three-time track athlete, and he's been really a great runner, really consistent, um, has been to nationals in cross-country three times, um, and he's just he's a really good um, sort of social figure on the team, keeps things pretty lighthearted. Um, but, you know, comes to workouts ready to work hard and is one of the most, you know, tenacious racer, racers out there. And so he's definitely someone that I've looked up to and aspire to, you know, compete like him.
definitely there when you need them to be. Um, and like we also have uh, Dom, uh, and like he's not necessarily our fastest guy, but like he definitely is out there every day, and like I, I really look up to him because he's a key part of the team. <laughs> um, another guy who's been pretty influential is David. It's uh, definitely offers a lot of leadership, um, just like pushes us in the right direction, and yeah, he's just a another good guy on the team. Yeah, just coming into track for my first season, I didn't really know that many people on the team, so I, I kind of got to know Dom and David uh, pretty early, and they're just really welcoming, really nice guys that kind of helped me trans transition to the new team, so I really appreciated that.